Welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. Today we're going to set up a single shortcut that turns on and off my fast edit and normal edit modes. This was requested in a Facebook comment and here we go. So first we should talk about what is fast edit mode. I did a video about this uh, earlier this year. Here it is again. This action will run various actions to configure the mouse and so that when it's armed, every time I click, it will split. Or if I drag, whether it's the top or bottom, it will do different things. So if I click anywhere, it will split the item, which is a lot faster than putting the cursor down and then pressing S to split. It also automatically selects the item on the right side of the split. If I drag from the top part of the item, it moves the item. And if I drag from the bottom, it slides the contents. This is a very quick way of editing drums, guitars, and vocals. And when I want to come out of fast edit mode, I click on the next toolbar button, which is normal edit mode. And that just kind of resets all of my mouse modifiers uh, that were changed by the fast edit mode. So it's a right click to arm the fast edit mode and a left click on the normal edit mode button to reset it. I had a request on Facebook for how to set this up with a single key press. Um, to arm the action and to uh, disarm it. So here's what I came up with. And I don't think there's a simpler way other than getting into more advanced scripting stuff. So first of all, let's look at the action list and I'll show you the original fast edit mode action. So first it's going to split the selected item at the edit cursor with a crossfade on the left. It's going to enable auto crossfade on split. It will enable auto crossfades uh, in general. It will also disable snapping, setting default mouse modifier action for media item bottom half left drag to move item contents ignoring snap, and setting the default mouse modifier action for media item fade intersect left drag to move both fades ignoring snap. Then we've got the normal edit mode button, which uh, is going to disarm any actions. It will enable auto crossfade on split which is just my preference for keeping it on. Um, and then it will set two mouse modifiers back to the default. So media item bottom half left drag to pass through to item context factory default and media item bottom half left click to uh, pass through to item context, click context. So, so just resetting things back to normal. Reaper has this function to arm next action. Uh, action arm next action and you can't just put this inside of the fast edit mode because then it's just going to arm one of the single steps in that action so we need to make a custom action which is essentially doing nothing other than arm next action plus fast edit mode so i created custom action called arm fast edit mode and so yeah it's just those two steps and then we're going into an sws extension function called the cycle action editor. I created a new action by right clicking add cycle action. Then I created, uh, then I added in the steps for my cycle action. First is the custom action arm fast edit mode, which we talked about earlier, then added a step and then added custom normal edit mode. So the step means the second time you run that action. Uh, so first time you run the action, it's going to arm, Second time you run the action, it will go to normal edit mode. When you do this and you're using custom actions inside of cycle actions, it's going to give you an error. Let me just rename this so that, so I can hit the apply button, you'll see this error. So it's, it's warning that it could be improved. The problem is if you explode the custom action into separate actions, it doesn't actually work right. It's not going to arm the right action. So Unfortunately, you have to deal with this warning every time you save your cycle actions, but this does work. So we're just going to find that cycle action. After you press apply, if I search for cycle fast, I've got my cycle fast edit mode. Let's set this to F4. So now if I press F4, you should be able to see my fast edit mode button turn on and off. It's just under my, it's just under my camera. So if I press F4, you can see it turn on and turn off. 
and you can see the edit cursor changes to a different cursor shape. So a pointer, if I run that, and it goes to the A, which is the armed action. So let's try that out. I'm gonna hit F4 to arm that action, click anywhere to split, and if I go to the lower half of the item, I can drag it, and the item itself is not moving, uh, just the contents of the item. So I can al align things to the grid, I can shift timing uh, based on feel, and if I want a gap in between the items, or if I want to overlap items, I can just drag it from the top section. Fast edit mode is something that I'm using on almost every music project in some way. These extra couple steps to set this up uh, makes getting to that functionality a little bit quicker. So I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.